Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and today we're going to look at how to use the Lightning Conductor to aggregate documents from across multiple site collections. The view will look exactly like this, showing the document icon, the document which will allow us to also link to the document, as well as other useful information such as custom metadata or the file size, version and who and when the document was created. In order to build the view, the first thing we'll do is hit the drop down and choose create view. Under the web part tab, we can provide a useful name, so I'm going to call this one My Documents. We'll select the Data Source tab, and that will allow me to choose which site collections I want to aggregate the document libraries from. So I'm going to expand my web application and select a few different site collections. And doing this is going to return about 750 documents, so we'll have a look at the performance information towards the end of this demonstration as well. Now that I've selected the site collections, I'm going to choose the template that I want to work with, and that is the document library template. I'll, I'll then choose the default content type and content type group, but bear in mind that if we wanted to, we could also filter by content type or custom content type as well. Under the columns tab is where we'll start to design our view. So there's all of the different columns available from the document libraries, and we only show the document li library columns, not all of the site columns, such as the uh, content query web part would do. So in here, I'm going to select the name column. We're going to choose the modified by. We're also going to choose the file size, the created date, and if we scroll down to the very bottom here, we'll also see the version as well. Now that we've selected the columns that we want to see, I'm going to put them in the order that is appropriate. And I'll drag the name column to the very top so that appears as the leftmost column. We'll then set some display formatting. So the created date, I'm going to set as a short date. The file size, I would like to show in gigabytes. The modified by, we will show the user presence. And that will be it. Also at the top here, we could add calculated columns or do some advanced filtering. But all we're going to do in this particular example is filter by the created by column. So uh, by clicking onto the filter icon, I'll choose equal and then set the me checkbox. So anybody logging into SharePoint and navigating to a page with the Lightning Conductor web part on it will see the documents that they created. Of course, there's no need to actually show this column um, since all the names will be the same anyway. Finally, we'll go to the display tab and under the display tab I'm going to set the pagination to show 50 items. We'll also group by folders. We'll have those folders collapsed by default. We will show the document icon and we'll allow linking to open up the document by clicking the name column. Notice also when we're working with document libraries that we could also link to the item directly as well. So you have a choice there as to whether you click onto the document, whether it opens up the metadata for that document or whether it actually opens up the document in the Office application. So the last thing to do is hit save. And there's our new view with the document icon the link to open up the document and the other columns that we added. The final thing I'm going to do is just go back in to configure the view so we can have some statistics about how much content is being aggregated and how long it's taking to aggregate. So under the web part tab we will show the statistical information, click save And now at the top of the page, you can see that this is taking 2,600 milliseconds in order to aggregate 782 documents. And that's not using caching. Caching is something else that we could turn on in the web part as well to improve the performance further. So that's the uh, performance so far. Let's just go back in, configure the view. We'll enable caching, click save, and this time when we refresh the page we'll see the statistical information again. So
So initially it's taking a little while longer because it's having to load the items into cache but let's do another page refresh and now you can see we're down to uh, around 100 milliseconds in order to aggregate that content. Okay, thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration.